Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fuzzball 40. Don't forget, subscribe down below if you are new around here. We're on the road to 2k subs. You'll want to be subscribed because you have to be subscribed if you wish to enter this giveaway. Details of the giveaway are going to come later in the video, but I did not forget, lads, that we hit 1,000 for subscribers by Christmas. In fact, we did it a week before. We did it well early. Um, we're gaining about nearly 100 subs a day at the moment. It's mental. We're on the road to 2k subs, so join the Fuzzballers. You have to be subscribed to enter the giveaway. Details of the giveaway coming later in the video. There'll be a £10 giveaway in this video, a £15 giveaway next week, and a £25 giveaway the week after. Chance to win up to £50. Um, so we'll announce the winner of the £10 giveaway in the uh, £15 giveaway video, and the winner of the £15 giveaway in the £25 giveaway video. Gotta be subscribed to enter. Make sure you subscribe down below. Drop a like on the video. But, I've been teaching you guys a huge amount about League SPC trading, and by now I'm sure a lot of you know a lot about the League SPC market. I'll continue to teach you there's loads to learn about it. Loads to learn about the silver and bronze market. It's one of the most dynamic uh, markets on this game by a country mile. But I don't just trade with silvers. I, I tend to do that on stream a lot of the time because it's easy for me to do it on stream. Um, but you don't make 1.846 million in six weeks um, just using silvers. You've got to use other methods. And something I haven't really taught you guys yet properly is Team of the Week trading. Um, and the fact that during promos, I change up what I trade in. So during... Black Friday, I traded, I traded an SBC for it. We did it on stream. We made a shit ton on stream. We made a huge amount of money on stream. Um, basically, what we did was, when the lightning rounds come out, lightning rounds do come out, all the players crash in price. You buy them, lightning round ends, the players rise. I promise you that will happen. We're all SBC fodder. So long as the SBC, as, as long as there's good SBC. So, the team of the year, there's rumoured to be flashback at team of the year uh, SBC is coming. Marcelo's rumoured. Ibrahimovic is rumoured. I don't think we'll get an Ibrahimovic because we've already got one. But I think Marcelo's a likely one, possibly a Rooney, you never know. What is important about that is how EA are going to make those expenses. So I showed you in the Team of the Year trading guide I brought out that last year's bail was like 1.2 million. And they had to use things like Team of the Years and high-rated teams. So if they bring out a Marcelo, the chance of for me will probably be a four or 500k card if it's, a, um, if it's a Team of the Year, basically revamp. People want to do him, he'll be popular. So you've got to be mindful that EA are going to want to... Set the price at the right price for everyone, so not everyone does it. So SBC is going to be huge, but team of the year trade, team of the week trading, sorry, can be very good too. And now I want to show you something, okay? So if I show you my desktop now, just use my stream deck mini finally for the first time, I can just switch between the two. Like hi, 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 hi. Um, basically on Black Friday, I traded this Kimmich. Now he's 55k. When I was trading in him, he was 112k, give or take. He came out just before the team of the year, uh, before Black Friday, and he was about 135, dropped to 112. I was picking up at 90s to 100s, so sending him for about 110, then good profit for him. And he crashed down in price, kept crashing, kept crashing, kept crashing to a low about 35. He then climbed in price and got to where he is now, which is about 55k. Stephen Bergwin, another guy I traded with Team of the Year, I was buying him at about 16, sending him at about 23. Um, not doing the Team of the Year, during Black Friday, apologies. Um, you see there, during Black Friday, about 24, I was flipping quite easily. He sort of climbed and dropped a little bit, he sort of stayed steady, and he got to a low again of about 21. Uh, and now he's climbed back up to 27. So, what does that tell us, realistically? Um, team of the year, team of the weeks, once they're out of packs, usually always rise eventually. So if you buy them at the cheapest level you can buy them at, really cheap, as cheap as possible, you're going to make profit, okay? Fact. So, I've got four players that I'm going to talk about on this uh, stream from this week's team of the week. And the reason why we're talking about this week's team of the week is I want to... I, I base all my trading tips to you guys upon what we've already seen on the game. So, on Black Friday, I saw all the team of the years crash in price. So I saw him all crash, 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 crash. But at certain points, I saw a little climb in the market once they were done. So what happens on Team of the Year is lightning rounds come out. So lightning rounds are going to come out on Monday for the Team of the Year defenders. And I'm telling you now, I implore you, like my video yesterday, don't buy FIFA points, but people will do either way. What happens is, loads of those Team of the Year weeks are packed and they crash down in price, okay? And then once the tip with that, that ends, the lightning round ends, they climb. Now, how much they climb, and it's the same for fodder as well, just for reference, how much they climb is dependent on the market. So let's say, for example, on the defenders, we do see a Marcelo flashback, right? A Marcelo flashback SPC. This Maguire right now is 14k. This Maguire here, this is one of the ones I'm talking about. This Harry Maguire is 14k. Now, I try and, if you want to buy him now to get ready for Team of the Year, by all means do it. Try and snipe him 2k under this. You're covering yourself then in case of a loss. You can go, actually, I'm going to sell him for, for profit either way. Get him as close to this card as you can. But this is an 84 rated Premier League English uh, defender, right? Who's a Team of the Week. If an SBC comes out, requiring Team of the Weeks, he's going to be dead easy to link. Really, really easy to link. People are going to use SPC for like Halisson and stuff like that and go, how you know I have you? Um, and he's your guy, I think, to link really easy to him. So why am I telling you this now and saying to go and buy him now? 
The thing that will happen during the lightning round is every trade is going to be on sniper, sniper, sniper. And if you can buy him now, at close to what he'll be getting sniped for anyway, while the market's a bit chill, everyone's a bit iffy about spending coins at the moment because of Team of the Year. If you can get him at close to discard price, I just saw one minute ago I missed out on that was 11250 I would have bought him straight away. Because my, um, it's worth me risking the 1,000 coins profit to not to compete. But when Team of the Year lightning rounds come out, try and snipe him. He, he will be useful. And if you don't sell him at this point, once he comes out of packs, for example, do you remember when we did the um, Ben Chilwell? We did the investment in Ben Chilwell for Jamie Vardy's pair of the month. It didn't happen, basically. We didn't, we didn't get it. Ben Chilwell, we were buying him at discard price. Look at him now. And he, he didn't get up. He didn't get involved in that at all. In, involved in, in, in Jamie Vardy's. But you can't get him now for less than 18k on the market. So if you'd have kept hold of your Ben Chilwell's at that point that you picked up a discard price, or close to discard price, you'd have made six or 7,000 coins of card eventually. And you can sit 10 of them on your transfer pile, it won't matter, and give it two or three weeks for them to go up and make yourself 100k either, either, either way, of the Maguires that is. So that's what I, that's a, a card for me that's good for you to trade in. What we were lucky with this week was that a lot of the team of the weeks were Premier League. So another one that I think was a good one for you to invest in, during lightning rounds, but also ideally beforehand, is Matt Doherty. Now there's two ways you can look at this guy. He has an 82 rated and he has an 84 rated, okay? Now, the 82 rated sits somewhere at about 14k, realistically. So be mindful of that. Something you have to think about when it comes down to it. This, the, the, like, that one there for me is too cheap. I know he, this, I've just seen him already. I know he sells for about 14 and a half. So I'm going to buy this guy now. I'm going to sell him straight away. He sells about 14 and a half normally, that Matt, 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 Matt Doherty. But you can sit there and try and snipe. And if you get lucky and you pick up an 84 rated, so these ones here are 14k, 13750. Is that one I just bought? No, it's a different one. I'll wait for these to come off the market. But he's a Premier League right back. Again, easy, easy enough to link. Not, not incredibly easy to link, but easy enough to link. But he's a Premier League right back that people are going to want to link for the team of the year. But if you sit and try and snipe it and his 84 comes up, say you sit it at 12 and people realise it's 84 there, you make yourself 2, 2k profit a card at the moment before tax. So after, after tax, you're looking at about something in the region, about 1500 coins profit a card. Right now, you can snipe him for. But you can also use him and save him for team of the year. Or lightning rounds, snipe him because he might be needed. Again, sniping with close to discard, you can't make a loss. Another really good filter that I'm liking at the moment as well is go quality special, Nation France and Manchester United. Now this is for higher budgets. Uh, much sorry, going past that. For much higher budgets. But I was watching a stream yesterday, I can't remember whose stream it was. But they were looking to get a Martial for their team. And they're sitting watching this, whatever, and they were trying to snipe a Martial out, and it was like sitting of like two, three, five, whatever. And the road to the final, Martial popped up and he didn't even not acknowledge it. Didn't even notice that the road to the final, Martial was there and obviously sells for a hell of a lot more than this Martial does. So you can try and snipe this Martial either way. You can set him for 220, and maybe 235, there I'd set him for maybe 2... 220 gives you what? Profit. Level up 4k, 5k profit from, from what he's selling for there. Maybe 215, 210. Try and set a snipe him, but you may get lucky. It happened to me earlier in the year. I, I missed out on it. But I was trying to snipe a Mane standard and I just missed out on his special card striker when it was about 800k for like 69k or 79k, something like that. They do happen. When I told you guys about the French Barcelona, literally French gold Barcelona sniping filter, people were like, well, I don't really get what, what the point of it is. And I was like, you're looking for Dembele's and whatnot, but um, Titi might pop, Longley might pop. Three of my subscribers got a Griezmann doing that method. It sounds stupid, but you can do it. If you're holding on to these guys right now, though, this Martial, in my opinion, is going to crash the moment lightning rounds happen. I don't think he's going to stay at this price. So I feel like if Martial, if you've got him right now, it's worth it's worth shifting him straight away. Don't don't buy him to invest right now. Buy him to shift on straight away because I feel like he'll crash. In fact, I know he'll crash during Team of the Year. He'll drop off in price. People get coins, but Team of the Year, Team of the Week tends to drop off. It happens. I'll just show you Kimmich and whatnot. The during Black Friday, everything so far this year has pointed to the fact that Team of the Week's crash off. But Martial's a good one. The last one that I also like the look of is Adama. Now again, same thing as, as before. You can try and snipe him at the moment doing that method. So at the moment, his right wing card, he's got two of them, doesn't he? He's got the, uh, he's got the scream card as well. His normal right wing card is about, I think it's what, what, was it 140, less than. Yeah, 140 for his, for his right wing card, which is overpriced as anything for that card. It ain't that good. It's really not a good card, lads. Don't bother. But 140 basically for, for this card here, okay? His normal right back card, so we go down like that, go down like that, is like 40k, right? For his right wing back card, it's like 40k. So if you can sit there and snipe him out, you might get lucky. You may get lucky and pick up one of his his right wing cards. It's possible. 
But also, the reason why I like his right wing card is he's a Premier League right wing right winger who plays for who, who links to Spanish players. So he, so people are gonna want him either way. So he's a good player to flip right now. I don't think he's worth the price at all. But he's a good player to flip right now to make coins on. What I would try to do with him is flip him with a chem style as well. So for example, if you look at his right wing card as standard at the moment. Let's go back to 140 again. He is just this is a standard, I'm assuming he's a fresh. It is a fresh right wing card, right? He is 140 a standard. Now, if you can try and see what's like the hunter or something like that, someone might want to pick him up with a hunter on him. I don't I, I wouldn't want to go hunter person, we'll go someone else, but if he's if he goes for a bit more of a hunter on him, I mean actually to be fair, I probably wouldn't touch him with that. He's got a pace already, but I just don't think it really matters. Because he's got pace, you can pop, you can bang up a shoot any, any way you want. Actually, there's no point me saying there's, there's to do that. I wouldn't do a chem style. Just go completely scratch that, put it back, don't do it with a chem style. But he is um He's a good one because people like him because he links to other leagues and whatnot. He's a good one to trade with. They're always good ones to trade with. Don't trade with him as an investment, though. He will crash again. Him and Marshall both crash. But I like Doherty as an investment. I like uh, Maguire as an investment. I do wonder as well how much Ayoso Perez is as an investment because... Let's have a look at his special card. Uh, Perez, Ayoso, special. He's got only, only had one special card so far this year. But his 84 card at Cam is not expensive at all. Let's have a little look what he's sending for at the moment. Uh, Cam. See, I think this could be a good one to snipe as well. Again, he links to other leagues, so La Liga Santander. If a Marcelo card comes out and it requires an inform and a La Liga Santander player, people might use this guy to link into Premier League and La Liga Santander. He could be a great guy to snipe during lightning rounds, but also now. Try and pick him up for, for 15k. Try and pick him up for 14k. You can even flip him straight away. But I can't stress this enough. The higher price team of the team of the weeks will fall in price. Do not hold right now. Sell, sell, sell. Lower price. Try and snipe him below whatever it is. But during the lightning rounds, especially team of the weeks like team of the week fodder and SBC fodder are your, are going to be your friends. And that's how you make coins. You'll see me do it on stream if you go down below. But that's how you're going to make coins in team of the week. So to check if you were watching this giveaway, I want you to tell me all the team of the weeks I have just told you in this video. All the team leagues I just told you in this video to go and invest in. Go and comment down below all the team of the weeks that I told you to invest in this video. And a winner will be picked at random to win a £10 gift card for your choice of console. Whether that's Xbox, PS4 or PC. Comment down below who I told you to invest in. Let's see who is watching the video. Uh, but lads, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope, you, I hope it's helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions, queries, come over to Twitch. Watch me live and we'll teach you how to do it. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you later.